morning guys welcome to another vlog I'm busy editing the first one right here and doing what I do every morning which is drinking half a liter of water first thing um, I basically I usually do this as soon as I get up just to get hydrated for the day and uh, it saves me worrying about whether I'm actually drinking enough water or not so that's really really convenient uh, today is a day where I really have to get my head down and work and um, get a few things done so I'm probably gonna go look for a cafe with free Wi-Fi later on and uh, sit there and enjoy the vibe and coffee and um, just get some of my work done. So let's see what happens. Hey guys, so it's um, just afternoon and I've decided to have breakfast. <laughs> um, I've been having breakfast really, really late these days because I go to bed really late and then I wake up only around 9 in the morning and I really like to actually get some work done before I have breakfast because I feel like I just think a lot clearer and um, I'm not distracted by anything. So this is breakfast today. That's um, just one really nice mango. There's some figs, some kiwis, um, a punnet of raspberries and uh, some pomegranate. And then I've got this sauce here, which is my special strawberry date sauce. You might have seen it if you um, saw my recipe video for pancakes. Um, I'll put a link in, this, in the description. Uh, you can go check that out. The recipe for the strawberry sauce is, um, is in that video. So you can go check that out. And um, after I'm done here, I'm going to go uh, visit a friend of mine who has a really cool little vegan cafe a um, couple of minutes from here. So I'm going to go pay him a visit and they have free Wi-Fi. So I'm going to um, sit there with my laptop and get some work done. Guys, I just got here. So I want to actually show you around this place because it's really, really awesome. So here we go. So this is where I am right now and they're doing a bit of construction. So isn't looking that pretty from the outside but check this out they've got um, like vegan barbecue steaks and all that sort of stuff which is super cool and I'm just gonna go inside and say hello to everyone and then I'll show you around the inside as well close to half past seven in the evening already and when I left home it was about 12 so I've spent several hours working on some of my different projects now. I'll tell you a bit more about that just now actually. Um, I had really really good lunch, this epic tofu burger right here. And I also had a really nice dessert now just before I left, a raw chocolate nougat hazelnut kind of cake and an espresso and coffee just goes so well with nougat and chocolate and everything it's just amazing and um, yeah so I'm on my way home I'm going to Skype with a friend now about um, some graphic design stuff for a new website that I'm making and yeah I'll see you at home
By the way, if you guys are looking for some really great vegan ice cream, come have a look at this place. It's literally right next to the underground station Birkenstraße. I went here the other day and they have amazing vegan ice cream. So if you feel like it, come and have a look. with my friend Pia, who is um, our graphics designer on um, this project called World Raw Food Day, which is a project I recently became a part of and I'm just so completely excited about it. Um, basically, the World Raw Food Day was um, first started by um, German cyclist and raw foodist um, Stefan Hiener. And um, he started the World Raw Food Day in 2010 and it's basically an event to raise awareness about raw foods and um, about in the, the health benefits of raw foods and um, to encourage everyone to incorporate more raw fruits and veggies into their lifestyles and um, it's supposed to be a global movement um, just for absolutely everyone to join in and um, the idea is to have lots of potlucks all around the world um, also raising awareness for raw foods worldwide and um, well like I said the first World Raw Food Day was on the 10th of October 2010 and um, it was really big especially here in Germany and um, since then in the couple of years since then it's um, become a little bit less popular again but um, Stefan now decided to completely revamp and revitalize the World Raw Food Day especially because there's such a huge raw foods movement um, here in Germany and um, he like there's just there's just so many amazing young people and young energetic excited and authentic people that are part of the raw foods movement now and just part of the vegan movement as well and um, basically we just want to bring all of these people together and create the most epic movement ever and um, yeah, so I'm part of this project now and what I'm doing for it at the moment is I'm in charge of designing the website and um, we're doing a free ebook which is um, sort of like a freebie um, for everyone and um, it's going to be like a recipe compilation from um, some of the most popular German and international raw food chefs and um, we also want to compile a longer ebook um, with just a whole lot more people um, giving tips on raw foods, lots of amazing recipes that are previously unpublished, so really new, awesome content, and um, also uh, just like tips on basically tips on raw foods, new recipes, um, people's personal stories as well, and personal successes with raw food. So that's going to be um, a bit of a longer book that we also want to bring out. And the World Raw Food Day this year is on June 21st, and. Um, so Pia is our graphics designer and she's absolutely fantastic. She also has a German Facebook page and blog and she just does the most gorgeous um, designs and graphics and is uh, such a genuine, lovely, kind-hearted person. So I really enjoyed talking to her. I think we talked for about one and a half hours um, and it was really fantastic. And um, yeah, so she's um, part of the team. Then there's Stefan and then there's um, Katrina Market as well. She's um, also part of it. She's also um, got a Facebook page and is doing all sorts of fun projects. And um, yeah, so she's taking care of the events part of the site, um, the whole thing, because we also want to um, join lots of um, expos and raw food fairs and have a stand and do talks and seminars and um, workshops and cooking demos and all sorts of stuff. And um, yeah. So that's the project, that's like the biggest project that I'm working on at the moment. Um, one of the many things that I am actually doing at the moment. So I just actually wanted to tell you about that because um, I will probably be posting a little bit more about that in the future and just let you actually know what it's about. And uh, if you're interested in it, you know, I'll here's the link for the, um, for the page um, and just go and have a look, go and like the page and the website will be up soon as well. I'll let you know when the free ebook comes out um, so you can join the movement basically and um, it would be really really cool to actually have you with us on that 
tips and yeah so that's the more draw for day uh, and I actually wanted to tell you also a bit about the other projects that, um, that I'm working on at the moment so um, some of you may know I'm currently still studying I've got one more year of studies left then I will officially have my Bachelor of Science in Complementary Medicine um, Complementary Medicine is basically um, yeah, alternative medicine, natural therapies. So that's what I'm studying and I've got about a year of that left and I've got really cool courses at the moment, stuff like um, acupuncture and kinesiology and manual therapy and um, relaxation and hypnosis therapy and um, orthomolecular medicine which is about all the, the nutrients and um, all that stuff and that's really really interesting and it doesn't take up that much of my time which is why I have time for all my other projects, uh, such as the whole draw for day, and um, yeah, so that's two projects we've covered. The third project is uh, obviously this channel, <laughs> um, and now that I'm uh, doing vlogs and everything, and I actually, I honestly think I'm going to make this a daily thing because at the moment I'm enjoying it so much. So you can definitely look forward to lots of uh, new videos from me. Um, so that's what I'm doing at the moment as well, is my channel, um, my YouTube channel, my Facebook page and um, my Instagram. And I used to have a blog, it's still there, it still exists, but I'm not doing anything on the blog at the moment because I just decided that I'm not all that into writing and more into making awesome YouTube videos for you guys because um, first of all it's easier and it's more fun and I feel that it's much easier for me to be authentic and personal and just tell my story so much better. Um, on video than it is if I have to write it all out because I find writing um, puts in this whole logical component and I really like to actually just talk. Um, you may have noticed that I like to just kind of talk and say what's on my mind and um, I really enjoy that about the YouTube videos so I really want to grow this channel and that's like um, a project that's really close to my heart as well so um, you watching this thank you so much for actually watching this and um, thank you for all your support and every like comment subscribe uh, and even just watching this video is so very much appreciated and uh, you're the reason, the reason I'm doing all this so um, thank you thank you in advance and you rock and um, yeah that's project number three and um, project number four is uh, basically through um, it's my main source of income at the moment as well which is um, the company that my parents run is called Organize Africa and um, based in South Africa where my parents are still living and um, we uh, produce um, like electro smog harmonizers and neutralizers and um, maybe for example these pendants um, which basically strengthen your aura and um, keep you safe from all sorts of electromagnetic radiation and um, negative in energies so to speak and um, if you want to have a bit more of a look at that go and check out the link right here as well we've got a really cool website also in German if you um, prefer to speak German and in lots of other languages as well even um, yeah we've also got like um, stuff to put on your put on your cell phone like a little chip to put on the back of your cell phone uh, I can't show you right now because I am actually filming with my cell phone uh, so um, you know can't be in two places at once um, but you can check those out on the website that's um, I basically run the German part of the website doing translations and Google marketing and all sorts of stuff and um, in end of March actually for the first time I went to the um, German raw foods fair um, revolution or revolution in German and I had a stand there and I was selling all our stuff which was so so awesome to just um, interact with everybody and meet all the people and I just was I was so overwhelmed by how open everybody was for uh, for what we're doing and the work we're doing and it was oh, it was absolutely amazing so if you're in Germany and if by any chance you're going to be at the next revolution in uh, Freiburg come and check it out. Um, I will be there and I will be really happy to meet you if by any chance you will be there. Otherwise there's another one in September and another one in November as well. So maybe I'll see you there. That would be super cool. Um, yeah, so that's project number four. And um, yeah, that's basically all my projects. It's quite a bit and it definitely fills my days. Uh, but it is, it is honestly such a blessing to be able to work from home and um, basically plan my time around all these different activities that I do and it's like so much freedom and um, it's absolutely amazing because I, I get to travel I'm actually in six days I'm leaving to Barcelona to meet up with my friend Robert and his brother um, 
Robert also has a YouTube channel um, in German, but go check it out anyways, right here. And um, he talks about online businesses and becoming a digital, no digital nomad and um, in general he absolutely rocks and I'm a really big fan of his and he's also my personal business coach. Um, so I'm going to go meet up with him, um, with him and his brother for a couple of days and I'll be in Barcelona but the cool thing is I can still work from there because as long as I have uh, my laptop, Wi-Fi and um, my wits about me <laughs> I am all sorted to uh, be a digital nomad and work from anywhere I please. So that's super awesome and it'll be a really fun experiment to see how well that works out from afar. So yeah, those are my projects and um, yeah, that's basically it for today. Uh, to tell you a bit about me so that you know who's behind this channel, why I'm doing all this and um, also to just uh, tell you how grateful I am again that uh, you're watching this and following this and um, thanks for sticking with me through all probably 15 maybe even 20 minutes of this video. So thank you very much and um, I would like no to know from you what uh, you do for a living, what is your um, in German we say Hansen's project, which is um, what is your project that is close to your heart? That is what I want to know from you today. What project are you working on? What project do you want to work on that is close to your heart and that would just fulfill your wildest dreams? What is your wildly probable goal and um, what's uh, close to your heart? Tell me in the comments. Um, I would really love to about um, what inspires you, what you're passionate about, what you're busy working on, let me know. And thank you for watching this video and I will actually see you tomorrow. Not three times a week, but I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing night and bye-bye.